everybody, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth. Okay. I'm not quite sure what I want to call this um, in transit, but it's dealing with some. Uh, it's dealing with uh, the Book of Daniel, the third chapter, uh, 14 verse on down, lead to it's like uh, in the 20s, you know, dealing with. Uh, The, the three holy children, um, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right, which that's, you know, even in the world, you know, going to church, they will reference this, um, this, this history of the book, uh, the, the story of the book about these three men <clears throat> of the nation of Israel. You know, because those were their slave names. That, that wasn't their Hebrew names. Their Hebrew names was Mishael, uh, Ananias, and uh, uh, matter of fact, let me get it. Always leave one out. Okay. Bear with me one second. Right there, the Hebrew names was uh, Mishael, Hananiah, and Azariah. Right, those were the names that they were given before they went into Bab uh, yeah, Babylon to serve captivity uh, under King uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, now in the book of uh. Daniel the third chapter okay we're gonna begin at the 14th verse all right when you read from the top it, it explains exactly you know what uh, <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar he had uh, erected an image that all were to bow when they heard the music okay and uh, this is a case of, uh, as the scriptures say, the righteous are as bold as lions, okay? And this is the type of spirit we, 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 we gonna have to have, Lord will, when, these, when things get real, uh, when things get sticky out here, so to speak. When there is no avenue to continue to uh, provide for your families, you know, to continue to operate in society because it's coming to the point to where Esau is getting ready to say, look, you're going to have to do this and you're going to have to do that. Otherwise, you, you're, you're basically going to be uh, cast out as uh, uh, the, what they call it, the dude... Uh, Yuval Noah Harari, he called he, he called you the useless class of people. Okay, if you if you're not down with the image, worshiping the image and receiving, if you're not uh, worshiping the beast in his image and receive his uh, his M A R K, you're you're gonna be a part of the useless class. Okay, and eventually what they want to do with the useless class is totally. Um, unalive you and rid you from the planet. And when you, and, and in Esau's mind, when you come back, uh, he gonna have his whole new world order in check. So even from birth, he don't even want uh, natural births anymore. He wanna control the rate of uh, of life. So as soon as, 
you know, babies are born, he's sticking them and putting technology in them so that he can control them. This is the, the mind of this devil. And he's going to make it very hard, all right, to operate within this society, okay? Unless you are down with the beast, his image, and you receive his mark, okay? And this is where we headed, okay? But when you read about what we're getting ready to read about, the three holy children, you know, it gives you that comfort and that spirit to where, you know, you, you, you will be as bold as a lion when the time comes to deny this man's uh, technology, his, uh, uh, his, his sea hip, and you totally depend on your how we show me how we shot, man, just like these men did. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the 14th verse in the book of Daniel, 14th, uh, the third chapter. All right, it says, Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods? Do ye not, Salaki, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound, of the, <clears throat> the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye will be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning furnace, of a burning fiery furnace, and who. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Okay? And this is the uh, the spirit Esau is coming in. Okay? You see how proud this man is. All right? With his WEF. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned the, the, that small hatter, uh, Yuval Noah Harari. You hear the way how proud these devils are, man. And this is how the spirit that they're coming in, they're coming in the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar, okay? One of the things uh, uh, that dude said, Harari, he said the days of free thinking and uh, uh, free will, those days are over, I'm talking to the people. He said, uh, Klaus Schwab, he said that God is dead, okay? So they're basically saying we're getting ready to roll out our NWO, the Great Reset. And if you're not down, you will be put down and unalive. And, and where's the God that's going to stop me from doing this? This is ultimately what Esau is saying. Okay? This is what he's truly saying. All right? And he's getting ready to act on it. Okay? Now listen to what <clears throat> the three holy children said. And this this what made me want to uh, bring this out when I was reading over it. <clears throat> I was reading over it, and I was I said to myself, "That's that's bold and righteous, man." All right. This is uh verse sixteen. It says, "Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful." to answer thee in this matter. Meaning they were speaking without no doubt. Okay? They, they was like, look, we ain't look, we ain't gonna be careful with our tongue on this one. Right? We finna tell you straight out. Okay? It says, if it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And this is the, the, the mindset of the elect, all right? This is the type of mindset uh, we have, Lord will to the end, man. Our power is gonna deliver us from this damn devil and all that he has coming, okay? And ultimately, when he turns all of Babylon into a, a burning, fiery furnace, our power will deliver us, all right? It says, uh, it 
it says, uh, and, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, okay, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up, right? Meaning they were ready to accept death. Right, rather than to serve uh, uh, this man God's, right, and 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 and, and uh, bow down to the image that he erected. Okay, bold as lions, and this is the spirit that we must be in when all hell break loose, and, and pray for that spirit <clears throat> that Yahweh by Shimon Rishon give you that spirit when all hell break loose. Okay, and this is the, our comfort, all right, to remind us these type of stories right here, man. <clears throat> it says, then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, all right? And this is what Esau, Esau finna be full of fury. He's already upset because the prophets are exposing him. He's being exposed on all levels uh, in society, okay? I was listening to uh, 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 Mike Adams yesterday and um, Project Veritas, if I'm saying that correctly, he, he was referencing a video that they had put up. Uh, they had uh, recorded uh, uh, excuse me, they had recorded a uh, uh, a, a, a worker that worked for Pfizer basically admitting that they tampering and mutating these uh, these Osiruses in the lab you know that they're doing all this thing in the lab and that they're the ones behind creating these things in the lab and, and, and releasing it on the people okay so Esau is being exposed all over the place, okay? And this is why he's going to come down with great wrath, right? Full of fury, just like Nebuchadnezzar, right? He says, uh, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore, he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was uh, want to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning furnace. Okay? Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace okay it says therefore because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot the flame of the flot the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach Meshach and Abednego all right, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Okay, so the flame was so hot that the men that uh, Nebuchadnezzar had uh, gotten out of his army to bind them and put them in there. It was so it was so hot that they it destroyed them and 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 the three holy children fell down in there. Okay, <clears throat> but this was a miracle taking place. Verse twenty four says, "Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men?" bound into the midst of the fire they answered and said unto the king true O king he answered and said lo 
I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of God, all right? So in the midst of adversity, in the midst of facing death, these three men stood stiffly on what they said they were still stiffly on, which means they weren't, they weren't getting ready to bow down and worship no image because they believed that their power, Yahweh, was going to deliver them out of the hand of the, uh, uh, out of, out of the fiery burning furnace and out of the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. And lo and behold, when they were dropped in there, when they fell down in there, Yahweh Shai himself was in there to, to, to comfort them and to save them out of, out of that uh, fiery burning furnace. Okay? Because of their belief, their faith. All right? They wasn't getting ready to bow down to no image. Okay? And we're not going to bow down to no image. And we're not going to receive this see him. Okay? Like when the Kool-Aid came out, there was no doubt in my mind that I was going to allow this man to put that goddamn uh, needle in my arm. All right? There was not a doubt in my mind. Okay? And I'm sure that I speak for, uh, you know, all the brothers. Okay? Wasn't a doubt in our mind. Like, man, hell no. And it's going to be the same thing with the see here. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Ratazah. Okay? We'd rather, we'd rather, we'd rather uh, get tossed in a fiery furnace as these uh, three holy children, all right? Or be cast in a concentration camp and, and beheaded before we bow down to this man's system, all right? And in the process, in the hopes that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is going to send mercy, okay? Just as he did with these men. Okay? This is why the scriptures is known as the comforting. Okay? Now, verse 26, it says, Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was in hair of their heads singed. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them, meaning they were 100% good, all right, in the sight of their enemy, all right, so much so that it humbled the shit out of Nebuchadnezzar, all right, that's why the scripture uh, says when the righteous, uh, when the man, when the man's ways please the most high, he make a, even his enemies at peace with him, okay? And this was the case here, okay? Verse 28, Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any God except their own God, all right? And that's it, all right? This is the, these are the type of miracles we looking to, to uh, these type of miracles and greater, should I say, the hopeful elect are gonna be delivered and, and, and these miracles are gonna be performed, miracles as such, for the elect. Okay? Because we're not to serve no other gods but our own. That's the first commandment. And Esau Edom, all right, he wants 
to be our God. He wants us to bow down and worship him through his technology. Okay? And this is the reality. And if you don't want to bow down and worship him, you're a target. All right? All right? Us that's bringing out this knowledge, that's exposing him through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem al <clears throat> We're the, we're, the, uh, we're the targets, okay? We're the witnesses of Yahweh Shai, and we're, we're uh, <clears throat> in the midst of Babylon, uh, uh, rebuking Esau and telling him to his face that Yahweh Shai is going to come and, and, and put a stop to this uh, new world order that he, that he believes he's going to accomplish, okay? And in the midst of, of, of us saying these things, there's going to come a point to where he's going to come after us. All right? Where he's going to want us registered with, the, with, with four, five, six uh, uh, jump shots and ultimately to see him. Okay? And anybody who doesn't comply to what he, he's going to uh, make mandatory, which is to see him, the the the, uh, the penalty will be death, right? The penalty will be death, and and the hope is going to truly have to be 100% in Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai, man. All right, <clears throat> and the Lord will deliver us just as He delivered these three holy children. All right. So with that. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Lord will, this was <clears throat> edifying and comforting and exhorting. And it's on to the next video. Shalom.